What's up, everyone? It's Phoenix here, and today we're talking about something a little bit different. So, Harry Cavill <laughs> wants a, or Cavill, sorry, wants a bigger check in order to do, in order to pursue the DCEU. And there's rumors that Ben Affleck is going to be dropping the Batman movies as well. And with that being said, do I think that man, that Superman and Batman should be recast? And my answer is yes. Um, it's not that I don't like them, because I do. I think they do a very good job at being Superman and Batman. The problem is their ages. They're too old to do this for 10 years, which I, I'm hoping that's what the DCEU plans to do, that they plan to take this for several years. They don't want this to be a short-term thing. They want this to go on and on and on. That's the dream, right? And it's not like the Avengers where you can just have the DC Universe without Batman and Superman. No. You need those two characters. You need the Trinity in order to have the DC Universe. Uh, you need Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. Those three has to be their strongest characters. And um, they're too old. Like, Batman, Ben Affleck does a good Batman and a good Bruce Wayne. Yes, he does. But he moves, and I noticed this in the Justice League, he moves a bit slow. And it's not like they just, I mean, I don't think they have stunt doubles. I don't think they use them. Not that I could tell, anyways. So, it's literally Ben Affleck doing all of these things, doing all of these moves. And I really think that they could use for a younger Batman and a younger Superman. Simply because it makes a little bit more sense. Now, Gal Gadot is doing a fantastic job as Wonder Woman. And I think she, she obviously should stay as Wonder Woman. But Batman and Bruce Wayne. And the ba sorry. Batman and Superman. I think should be replaced by younger actors and it's hard because technically Man of Steel did better than Wonder Woman yet no film has done better than The Dark Knight and even though Man of Steel did better than Wonder Woman it's still those two who want who are go are rumored to be replaced, um, and Gal Gadot stays, and I don't think I don't see I don't think anyone could replace Gal Gadot. So there's what there's that, and every pretty much I think the majority of the fandom is satisfied with the way that uh, Wonder Woman portrays, uh, Gal Gadot portrays Wonder Woman. And, but not everyone is happy with the way that Superman is being portrayed and Batman is being portrayed. Um, the real issue would be finding a suitable replacement. Because obviously you don't want to replace someone who is only just as good or just as bad as the two actors. And it's, at this point in the game, it's kind of hard to find someone who is willing and able to take on such a role as Superman and Batman. Um, I, I think there's rumors that Jake Gyllenhaal is replacing Batman. I could see that, I think. I think I could see that. Now, for Superman, it's a little bit harder because, I mean, there's not really a lot of actors that I would want to see as Superman. 
that would do better than Henry Cavill. Now, wine, wine does. I mean, it's not the DCEU that wants to replace Henry Cavill. It's the fact that Henry Cavill wants a bigger check, but he's not getting it. He's not an A-lister. He's not like Ben Affleck, who's a big name. Um, so he gets he gets the bigger cut. Um, and I would think that if they were to replace Superman, they would want a bigger name, a bigger name, uh, named actor. Perhaps, uh, James Franco could do a good job. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I could see, I could see James Franco being a good replacement. Um, I'm not really sure what his IMDb is. I think I've seen him in a few movies, so let me just check real quick. Um, hmm. Well, he doesn't have a whole lot of movies that are like the uh, that are like DC movies, so I'm not really sure. Did Oz? I honestly didn't see that movie, so I don't know how good he is. Oh, he was, right, he was in Spider-Man 3. He was, uh, Harry Osborn. I think, I think, I could, I could kind of see him being a new Superman. He's definitely younger and could definitely probably do, probably do his own stunts. Um, let me think, who else? Mm, I don't know. There's not a whole lot of people I would trust as Superman, to be honest. Because if they were to replace, if they were to replace Superman, they would need to do a lot. Now, I will say that in Justice League, Superman was probably one of the better parts of Justice League. And so there is a there is probably a point of redemption for Henry Cavill. But I'm pretty sure that Warner Brothers wants to escape all of uh, Zack Snyder's decisions and wants to completely abandon the Zack Snyder universe. So they, I'm pretty sure they are looking for replacements for Superman and Batman. Uh, that's why they're not making Henry Cavill an A-lister and giving him the check that he wants. Because they don't believe that he's able to really take command of the DC universe and drive it. So far, the only one who's doing pretty well, um, fan base wise, is probably Wonder Woman. Um, we haven't seen a Batman origin film, so we don't know how well he does solo, but we have seen a Man of Steel in a Wonder Woman film. Technically, a Man of Steel did do better, but BVS, did worse um and so we have a second case where batman and superman were not a good combination and while not everyone hated batman v superman it definitely didn't do as well as it was supposed to and the two big problems with it were the two main stars batman and superman and while they did a good job, you know, portraying the script that they did, it still didn't hold up. And so, now that there's new executives on board, there's new people in charge, I think they're, they're wanting to kind of escape the old DC universe. In fact, you can tell by the movie selections that they are taking a different turn. We're getting, instead of a Man of Steel 2, we get a Shazam, we get an Aquaman, and we also, there's also rumors of Wonder Woman 2. Now, why hasn't Man of Steel gotten a sequel? That's the real question, because it certainly should have, but it's not. It hasn't yet. And I think the real reason we haven't seen a Man of Steel 2 
is because Henry Cavill wants a bigger check and WB doesn't want to give it. So, I have a feeling, and I wouldn't be surprised if Henry Cavill and uh, Ben Affleck both got replaced for younger actors that can do the job and then we might see more Superman movies. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we got a reboot of Superman. Um, and the potential for that, and I think it's interesting that One Woman and Aquaman are happening before before um, the Flash movie, before the uh, before the Batman movie, and before Man of Steel 2. So, is there potential? Because I don't know if you guys know this, but in the Flashpoint comic book, the main, one of the big focuses is the fact that the Amazons and the Atlanteans are at war with each other when, when, um, when they, when, when Barry messes up the time, the timeline. And I'm thinking perhaps there's actually a reason why we're getting Aquaman and Wonder Woman before we get Batman and Superman, the two biggest icons and the two biggest characters in the DC universe are getting a back seat. And I think it's because perhaps in the Flash film, there might be some replacements and they might go full fledged into the Flashpoint storyline. Which means that we need a setup for Wonder Woman and we need a setup for Aquaman before we go full fledged in and replace basically replace the characters. Now I don't think those two are going to get replacements. I don't think anyone except Ben Affleck and um, Henry Cavill are going to be replaced. Um, maybe they might consider replacing. Um, Barry Allen, but I don't think so. I don't. I think they're gonna stick with what's his name, Ezra Miller. I think they. I think they're sticking with him. Obviously, they can't get Grant Gustin, you know. But I think they will stick with everyone else. I think they really just want to replace Superman and Batman, especially since their origin films are supposed to be occurring. But they're not. And I think it's because they're holding up until Flashpoint. Where there's rumors where that's the film. That's going to be the last film Ben Affleck does for the DC Universe. The DCEU. And then we get the new actors, Jake Gyllenhaal and whoever's going to be playing Superman. When the timeline is fixed. Now, is that the way that it should be done? No. Because <laughs> that's not how Flashpoint happens. But here's the thing. If we do Flashpoint, it messes up everything. That's the, whole, that's the whole point of Flashpoint. It messes up everything. The whole universe. Now, they could try and pull off Flashpoint being a solo movie... And just using that as an excuse to, oh, suddenly there's a new Superman and a new Batman. And everything else is the same. Because I don't, they wouldn't want to be, to have to redo Wonder Woman because that would be way too risky. And they would actually have to do, redo Aquaman and redo every other movie that they're doing that they've set up. And I think what they really should do is, I mean, they kind of do have to have a flashpoint in order to be able to replace two actors without any any saying. Um, 
And maybe that's just have something that we have to deal with because it's it's going to be a solo movie, but it's it's going to affect two two characters in the universe. Um, and I think they should be replaced because even though they're doing a good job. There's still flaws in the DC universe, and if they're too big, it, they don't want to get so deep that it's there's no coming back from it. And now is the time to do that replacement while the DC EU is kind of in this transition mode, where it doesn't really know what to do, and it doesn't have solid plans, and it's kind of like it's. It's it's transferring from the Zack Snyderverse to uh, the different directors and the different producers that are taking charge of this. Um, and I'm really excited for the new films coming out because I think they're going to sort of reset the DCEU by themselves. The Aquaman movie, the Shazam movie, I think it's actually necessary. To have them to prove that the DC universe is still in the game, to prove that one Warner Brothers hasn't given up yet, um, and that the DC universe can actually happen, um, and we can kind of ignore the fact that it, it it started off rough. If they played their cards right, I think that the DC universe can be saved but I do think it will have to come at the cost of recasting Superman and Batman simply because of their ages and well I don't think I don't know if is actually that old I don't know let me see he's 35 Ben Affleck is 45 yeah. I mean, the only reason that Henry Cavill would be replaced is because he wants the bigger check. I think, you know what, I think what it should have happened is that we should have a Man of Steel 2. I think they at least, at least have a sequel. See how Man of Steel does. Man of Steel 2 does. Before deciding to recast Superman. Because he actually, I actually do really like him as Superman. Uh, I know some people don't, but I, for the most part, think he's doing Superman very, very well. Um, and it would be a shame to just throw him away. Ben Affleck, I agree, does need to be replaced for a younger actor simply because he just can't do those stunts. He just can't. He, like, his suit looks terrible. Um... And if Batman's not good, then you're having problems. Um, and I would love to see the iconic Batsuit be brought to life in the DCEU. I think, like, the one in um, Arkham Knight wouldn't be a bad choice. Even though <laughs> I don't know how well that can translate over screen. Or perhaps even the Arkham Asylum suit. The classic uh, black and gray suit. Uh, I think that would look a lot better than the one that we're seeing now. But the only way to do that suit is to have a younger actor who can fit in it. <laughs> um, and I think that would be important to do. I think... Almost having a flashpoint would help, but only if they actually have a plan going from that, right? They can't just restart it and have it be bad again. They have to restart it and have a plan of action. They have to have phases. They have to have a schedule. So after... After Flashpoint happens, what happens next? We get a Wonder Woman 3, we get a Superman movie, a Batman movie, and we set this whole universe up and basically restart it from the beginning, but kind of. We don't want to restart the whole thing because there are some things that are going well for it, but only replace some of the things. And I think a new tone 
is definitely important because while the darker, I really like the darker tone. I think everyone does based off of the Dark Knight and how no film from the DC Universe has topped Dark Knight yet. I think that says a lot. And Dark Knight was very dark and it went there and it was, um, maybe they like doing in Christopher Nolan even though he doesn't want to do, you know, that type of, those type of movies anymore. Um, <laughs> I think, I also don't think that the lighter tones hurt at all because in the comics, there's always this contrast of dark and light. There's this contrast between the two. There's, you know, Batman's always dark and broody and, and mysterious, while Superman's all light. And like, that's, it's like the iconic cover where there's Superman and Batman are both standing on the rooftops. Superman on the rooftop of Metropolis or the Daily Planet. And Batman on top of his gar gargoyle in Gotham City. And uh, you see this contrast of dark and light and it works well. I think if we see sort of a mixture of dark and light in the DC Universe, it could do really well. And we could really see this thing coming to life and finally being as successful, if not more successful, than the DC, than, than the Marvel Universe. Honestly, I think the DC Universe could be better than the Marvel Universe, but it really needs to show off everything that DC stands for, everything that DC is known for, before it can be at that level. And it can't rush anything. We can't rush anything. We have to take our time. We have to build this thing. And once it's built, then hopefully it'll be good. Um, so, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Leave your comments. Leave your thoughts. Leave a like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, for more content. Let the flames be high and bright for you guys. I'm amazing. Peace out and have a good day. I'll catch you guys next time on Flame TV. Peace out. It's the awesome guys. It's been a blast. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Hope to see you guys in the future. Peace out and thanks for watching. Bye bye.